Hello, welcome to Galpanash. This is episode 51. My name is Alex. What are you doing? My name is Emmy. Did you forget for a second? No. We've been doing this intro for almost a year <laughs> now. And you forgot your line. Oh no, I didn't forget. I know what I know I didn't. Oh, you just wanted to be annoying. That's that's a typical eleven year old. So fifty one. That's one episode okay. away from one year. And we've never missed a week. What are we doing next week? We've been late. We've been late. But we never missed a week. What are we gonna do for a year? Are we gonna blow something up? Probably not. Or are we going to blow up dad? Probably. Have a chugging contest? Soda chug contest? Probably we should not. invite my cousins and I have like a big competition. Find out at the end of the episode. Today hey. we are drinking Oso oh Cherry. Oso oh Cherry. Oso oh Cherry is one of those sodas that was redistributed by Orca Beverages. So, I have a mirror right next to me, so I can see you. It's <laughs> not, you're not fooling me in any way. Orc, orca is, uh, have, as we've described a million times, it's a great company that re puts out retro sodas. Problem is, they don't grab that history and, like, put up the history or anything. So, um,. It sometimes is kind of hard to find the history of these sodas uh, because all you find is Orca. Oh, and um, this one did manage to find something, but it's kind of speculative. Um, pretty much all we I found legit is that it is uh, out of Peoria, Illinois, um, around 1946 uh, is when it first started into production. Apparently, it dates back to 1945, and all the rest of this is from uh, uh, Super Sleuth Soda Bob on the AntiqueBottles.net forum. So that's where we're, we're pulling history from, and um, like I said, it'd be awesome if there was uh, some site where you can get histories for all these old sodas we before make they just one. disappear. Yeah, but then where am I going to dig up the history? You dig up on the internet and then we put it on here. So That's a lot of effort. Learn. That's a lot of effort. It's Squarespace wants to sponsor us. Maybe I'll make a website. They sponsor everybody else. Why not Fair us? Enough. Um. Because so, so Super Sleuth Soda Bob. Uh, found a lot of ads and references to So Grape uh, dating back to 1945 and 1946. And then in 1947, he found about half of the ads were still So Grape, and then the other half were Oh So Grape. And then from 48 on, nothing but Oh So. So, um, in digging more, he, uh, he found a uh, court case involving So Grape and New Grape that stated that the name similarities were confusing. And this court case was in 1945. And then he found a decisions ruling in 1947, which lines up perfectly with when he was noticing the name changes. That said, that seemed to say So Grape was found in violation of New Grape's copyright. So, kind of speculative, but also very, very fishy. You know, probably accurate that they changed their name because of a lawsuit against New Grape. So New Grape comes in and says, That's hey. Also. So grape sounds too much like new grape. So new, so new. I don't know. Apparently, it was enough for the court, and they found in favor of new grape, and so grape 
had to change their name to Oh So Great. Might not be true. No concrete evidence, but an interesting possibility uh, for for a history there. And um, if you have any concrete evidence of that, feel free to share it in the comments. But um, but yeah, interesting. Yeah, that new grape. New grape was like Sued hey. Also, yep. or so. And and we've had other. Um, examples of lawsuits uh between um, two of the sodas we've yeah. done and a lot of it was a major brand okay. versus a small brand so like, I, uh, like roxy i remember cola. roxy cola versus got sued out uh because of coca-cola no, they, they won oh yeah roxy won but i remember in that history what was the the major what was what we were drinking that was roxy cola's guy I want to say it was uh, Jersey Cream. They originally had a Roxy Cola, and they were sued by Coca Cola. And, and I remember, won. yeah, I remember in that history it saying that the founder was um, one of the few people that actually fought against Coca Cola. So this is very common in the early days of soda that um, a big brand like Coke would come in and sue a smaller brand with sounds too similar type allegations so new grape was first came around um, early 1900s I want to say 1904 and started going full steam in like 1933 I think was nationwide so um, so so grape was the one that infringed obviously there's that corner of the mountain how is this Mark and Ringer? <laughs> I don't know, call me crazy, but the front of my mouth works better for taking in drinks. Maybe that's just me, though. Probably. What do you think, uh, Oso? Oso. Oh, so, so. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, so is so so. <laughs> it's, it's that was a good joke. I thought it was. Um. Well, you were wrong. It's a pretty tart cherry. Mm-hmm. Natural tasting. Um, it is still quite sugary though. Like I'm not saying it's not sweet. There's a sweetness to it, it, but then the cherry flavor is still quite tart compared to something you know like um, a new grape for for instance as we've already talked about it mm -hmm. huh, that's weird that you managed to have a problem <laughs> inhaling that drink with the side of your mouth it wasn't come from the side of my mouth I was trying to pour it into my mouth you can watch the video proof you know the, the whole trend going around about OK Boomer? Oh, well, anyway, OK Boomer is a trend making fun of the baby boomer generation. Uh, your generation is Gen Z or the Zoomers. So I'm going to start saying OK Zoomer. Can I punch him? OK Zoomer. Okay, Zoomer. That is oh so cherry. Uh, good. I like it. Uh, if you want good. a cherry soda, I, thought I think you it's, said it was so so. It was a joke uh, because it doesn't matter what I think about it. That's a hilarious joke that needs to be said. No. Yes. No. Uh, if you want a cherry soda, I think it's it's a good one. Uh, there's a tartness to that cherry that I think. Uh, I think goes well. Next week is our uh, one year, and we've been holding off on doing Fago because we wanted to do something special for Fago, but instead we're just going to do uh, it on a special episode. 
saw it's gonna be on the first year. Since Fago's a mm, staple of Michigan, we will do Fago next week. If you like this video, <coughs> even if you dislike her, <laughs> give a thumbs up and subscribe in the D box. Wow, wow, wow. And every like is a punch for dad. You can find links to our merch, our Patreon, our Streamlabs, our PayPal, an email, and Discord link if you want to talk to us, as well as a reminder about what we're drinking next week. Although we told you just now, and you probably remember. Goodbye, everybody. Okay. What? Okay, Zoomer. No. Stop it, Zoomer. Stop it. No.